Number 10. Braj Viking is a high ice class AHTS vessel capable of operations in harsh environment offshore region, as well as Arctic and subarctic operations. The vessel is a part of the Viking Supply Ships, which is a supply shipping company headquartered from Copenhagen, with local offices in Kristiansand, Moscow, Stenungsund, and St. John's. On board the vessel is Danish Chief Officer. Christian Stidson. He has worked on Braj Viking for the last two years, but when the ship sails from Singapore around the 16th of September, he won't be on board anymore. In April Braj Viking won a major charter contract with a Russian company, which will keep it employed for at least the next two years and eight months. But this also means that there longer will be Scandinavians working on the vessel, but mainly Russians instead. The charter contract is, according to TurkishMaritime.com, valued at around USD $100 million and includes options to extend the charter for an additional 18 months. The vessel is now in Singapore to have technical upgrades made to it prior to the commencement of the contract. Number 9. The vessel, of the Ulstein SX-165 design, is one of the largest vessels built at the yard so far. It is being built for Island Ventures 2, a joint venture between Edison Chuist Offshore and Island Offshore. According to the contract signed in October 2013, the vessel is expected to be delivered in the third quarter of 2015. The vessel is 28 meters wide and 145.7 meters long and can accommodate 200 people. It is equipped with two cranes that could lift 400 tons and 140 tons, respectively. Its moon pool measures 11.2 by 12 meters and it has plus two smaller moon pools with ROVs installed in a centrally located hangar. Number 8. Olympic Energy is a offshore tug, supply ship registered and sailing under the flag of Norway. Her gross tonnage is 5,197 and dead weight is 5,066. Olympic Energy was built in 2012 by Vard Tulchia. Olympic energy length overall, lower, is 94.3 meters, beam is 20 meters and maximum draft is 6.8 meters. Her container capacity is 0 TEU. The ship is operated by Olympic Energy as Number 7. Scandi Iceman is a modern deep-sea anchor handler designed for versatile and reliant field work in harsh environment. The vessel is built with a wide 24 meters beam for good general stability and in particular, safe anchor handling operation. Comfort class, an advanced AHF frame, large rig chain capacity, Fifi I plus E. NOFO 2009, SPS, ICE classification and NMD rescue approval for 300 packs is the key features for this modern and fuel-efficient vessel. Number 6. Normand Ocean is an MT-6022 multi-purpose construction vessel built and joined Deep Ocean's fleet in 2014. The MT-6022 design provides excellent stability and station keeping. The selection and design of spread, equipment and workspaces, are all based on the objective to perform safe and efficient subsea operations. Normand Ocean's large deck, combined with high weather limitations on MHS and ROVs together with the 150T offshore crane and her ice class, results in a vessel that is flexible and fit for offshore operations in harsh environments. Number 5. The Seam Barracuda is designed for subsea operation duties such as construction and installation work, inspection and maintenance. 
The vessel is of clean design, has particularly good sea-keeping abilities, station-keeping performance and is able to keep a high transit speed. It is environmental friendly with focus on low fuel consumption through its diesel-electric machinery. The vessel is classed according to SPS 2008 and clean design. Number 4 The Polaronics is powered by a diesel-electric plant, comprising of six identical 3,673 horsepower generator sets. It has 22,037 horsepower of installed power generation capacity and 20,482 horsepower of thrust power, and boasts DP3, Operation Plus, DNV Dynposer UTRO, Kongsberg DP3, Operation Plus. Abiding to their forward-thinking philosophy, Environmental responsibility was a key consideration in the construction of the Polaronics, which was designed for minimal environmental impact during operations. This includes efficient use of fuel and energy due to the inverted bow design of its hull. The Polaronics has already proved to possess excellent sea-keeping characteristics and benefits from the increased safety and power efficiencies afforded by its Ulstein X-Bow design. The inverted bow notoriously suffers less speed loss in rough seas, thereby improving fuel efficiency and transit speeds. All major pumps, motors and fans are driven by variable speed drives. To match demand, all propulsion motors are also driven by variable speed drives to reduce idling power consumption. Number 3 McDermott's new flagship vessel, DLV-2000, was delivered and entered into operation in June on the INPEX 6th project and has, says the company, been executing flawlessly on the installation of pipeline spools and large subsea facilities. DLV-2000 is a Class III dynamic positioning vessel combining a 2,200-ton revolving crane with a deep water under deck SLA pipely system configured to install pipelines with diameters ranging from 4.5 inches to 60 inches in water depths up to 10,000 feet 3,050 meters. The vessel can accommodate up to 400 personnel to facilitate large hookup and commissioning projects, has a fast transit speed and incorporates a large 4,000 square meters open deck to allow the transportation and assembly of large subsea structures, enabling safe and efficient standalone operations in remote areas. Number 2 Fugro has recently been awarded an inspection, repair and maintenance IRM contract by Petrobras in Brazil for its new 83 meters ROV support vessel Fugro Aquarius. The offshore vessel was designed by Damon and built in Brazil by Wilson Sons in Garuja. Wilson, Sons and Damon have a long-lasting relationship, having built more than 60 vessels in close cooperation. The IRM activities got underway in April and the contract is for one year, with an option for an additional year. Fugro Aquarius is the most advanced vessel of its type and she has been designed specifically for the Brazilian offshore market. The DP2 diesel-electric vessel has a spacious deck of 520 square m and accommodation for 60 people. Ideally suited for subsea inspection, repair and maintenance work. Number 1 Polaris is a Finnish icebreaker. Built in 2016 by Arctec Helsinki Shipyard. She is the most powerful icebreaker ever to fly the Finnish flag and the first icebreaker in the world to feature environmentally friendly dual fuel engines capable of using both low sulfur marine, diesel oil (LSMDO) and liquefied natural gas (LNG). 
Polaris was initially ordered by the Finnish transport agency, but the ownership was transferred to the state-owned icebreaker operator Arksha after delivery. While the history of winter navigation in Finland dates back to the strengthened sleigh boats used to carry mail from Finland to Sweden in the 17th century. The annual ice blockade that closed the Finnish ports for the winter months and stopped nearly all foreign trade was not broken until 1890 when the Finnish Board of Navigation commissioned one of the first purpose-built icebreakers in the world. Despite her shortcomings, Murtaja proved that year-round shipping was possible in the Baltic Sea and the first Finnish icebreaker was soon followed by bigger and more powerful vessels with only one purpose, 